How's the hanging fellow Sam Orochin? This is another episode of Yakuza 4 and in today's episode, as you can see, Akiyama went to prison and now he looks like this. He got all buff and scary looking. What happened last episode? Why is Akiyama in prison? Well, this isn't Akiyama, this is Saijima. Look how fucking poor I am. Now check it out, I got a new looking, uh, pause menu. And I just realized... Which really fucking worried me, I sit here for like 10 minutes trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. My headphones. The fucking expensive ones. The right side doesn't fucking work now. I can only hear the sound coming from the left. I'm half fucking deaf. Oh no, what happened to them? I don't fucking know. Last fucking recording, they worked fine. Then I put them back on the shelf. I take him out today and they don't fucking work anymore. What the fuck's going on? I don't know, but it really fucking pisses me off. Last episode was really long. Uh, we finished Akiyama's portion of the story, which ended with a boss fight against some lieutenant of the Majima family. Uh, Lily also left with the money and Hana-chan left my company. So Akiyama's kind of lonely now. Speaking of lonely, here's Seijima. Whose name I'm keep fucking saying wrong. It's Saijima, but I'm keep calling him Seijima for some reason. I don't know, that's just the way I learned to pronounce it. That's just how I fucking stuck with it. And his deal is that he went to prison for 20 years. 20 years ago. So he's been in prison for a fucking while. Also, he's Majima's brother. He is huge. Scary. Oh yeah, I meant to check out what the fuck's that shiny thing on the ground. It's salmon, huh? Mugworf looks edible. Take the Mugworf? Looks edible? The fuck is Mugworf? A craft that grows naturally in Japan. Often served mixed into sticky rice cakes. Okay. The fuck? So, I'm fucking handicapped right now. I got this fucked up TV. With like a blank spot on it. I mean like one spot on it that's like a lot brighter than it should. I'll show you. The phone booth right now is like lit up. You can't see it because it's only on my TV, not the recording. But the phone booth right now is like a fucking... Like a fucking halo above it. It's fucking annoying. And now I can't even hear from the right side. This is fucking garbage. I hate this so much. What the fuck is this prison? Everybody just... Wandering around. It reminds me of that one game made by there's like this guy a while back. He made a bunch of indie games that were like all crap and all the same. And there was this I think the most popular one was Prison Life, I think it was called. Where you're basically in prison and all the NPCs just have like these random behaviors. Like you're supposed to perform tasks and stuff, like you're supposed to clean stuff, uh, do some labor and shit, go to sleep, wake up. But then the fucking NPCs in the game would sometimes decide that, you know what, they kind of fucking hate you and they're gonna like attack you and shit. They would try to steal your shit. That was like a very unpredictable game. Our objective right now is to get a grappling hook. Because we're Batman. Got a sec? Oh, uh, sure. You're the one they halted in yesterday, right? Yep. Heard you're good with your hands. Wanna give me a hint job? That's right, sir. I made a name for myself on these islands as well. Let's just say I'm a craftsman of sorts. Or at least I was until I got thrown in here. Kinda of fucked up all this guy. Is it a big offense? I mean, I guess this guy makes homemade weapons, like guns. I don't know how big of an offense that is, but it sounds quite big. So yeah, Nyakas are free. This guy is in Okinawa. You meet him, he has an office there, you can give him items and you can craft your weapons. I never used that because I didn't give a shit. But once we were playing as Akiyama at the very beginning of the game, uh, we got to meet we got to meet this guy. And I, I guess he works in Kamurocho. So I think this portion of, Aki, of Seijima's story... I think Seijima's story is meant to take place... Like intertwined with Akiyama's story, it doesn't take place after the story of Akiyama. I think it's supposed to take place at the same time, because a lot of the events from Akiyama's story, from that story, will kind of like intertwine with Seijima's story. I'm sticking with Seijima because I swear to God I can't fucking remember to pronounce it correctly. 
and yeah, once we get to Kamurocho, it'll all become clear. So yeah, I guess this story does begin before Akiyama's, because this guy is still in prison. Once in Akiyama's story, we meet him free in Kamurocho. I guess he's on the run, but whatever. So I guess Seijima's story starts a little bit before Akiyama, but then it kind of becomes like when it takes place at the same time or something. I don't know. That's right, sir. Blah, blah, blah. What's a regular old citizen doing getting dumped in one of the highest security prisons in the country? I suppose I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was minding my own business, doing business with some fine gentlemen who turned out to be Yakuza. When the police showed up for them, they took me in too. Was that Yakuza, the dragon of Tojima? I guess not, because if he said they took me in too, that would us that would mean that they took in Kiryu, but Kiryu's not here, so I guess they didn't took him in. Once they started looking into my livelihood, though, they figured out I was involved in some less than legal activities. Folks in my line of work called those crimes. What kind are we talking? Well, um, I made, modded, bought, and sold all kinds of deadly weapons. Oh. I never heard a soul though, no siree or not directly anyway. Yeah, I, I guess that is a fucking major offense making homemade weapons. Not <laughs> to mention the fact I got forced into the business to start with. You don't say. Well, whatever your story, I got a favor to ask. Gonna need you to make a grapple hook for me, think you can manage that? Anything's possible as long as I have the materials, may I ask why? I can ask, but I ain't telling. You'll be better off not knowing, anyhow. I, uh, alright. Then, do you need it to be specially sturdy? Well, enough to hold up me, and I'm a huge motherfucker, as you can see. Sturdy enough to hold a person or two. I see. Well, alright. No more questions for me, then. Just bring me a nice thick chain, and a grapple hook should be a... F k kinch? Change what? Fortunately for you, I saw one of the inmates swinging one around the other day. His dick out? Oh yeah? Just try to keep things civil, okay? The guards won't be on you in a flash if you start trouble. Right, thanks. Wait, what the fuck am I- Oh, I'm meant to get him a chain. There's a lot of other things I can do. What do you want, inmate? Just a drink of water. Mind letting me through? Fine, I'll make it quick. Oh, I actually was allowed through. Oh, can I actually get a drink of water? I got a drink of water. Let's pretend I did. There's nothing here. Well, whatever. I wanna go back in. I love it here. My favorite place in the world. Prison. Alright, which one of you is swinging a chain around? Yamada. Is this meant to tell me something? Is he from a different game? He does look a bit like... Like a designed character, not randomly generated. Well, if it isn't the new guy, how do you find life on the inside? We're all on the inside. Just... Our insides are a lot smaller. What, nothing? Look, man, you're not gonna last long in here if you don't start playing nice. Just remember who you're dealing with now. Yamata, motherfucker. This prison's full of the worst society got to offer. And not everyone's gonna take kind to your bullshit. I don't know, it looks pretty civilized to me. Everybody's just kind of walking around. Jogging, chilling. Having fun. Hayashida. Are they like reoccurring characters or some shit? Look at that motherfucker's broad shoulders, Jesus Christ. Oh, you got that awesome chain, Kotaka? So oh, chain. I'm jealous as all hell, man. Is he like wearing it around his neck? I got a gold chain. When I got baptized as a child. Remember when I was doing construction on the new cell block? I nicked it from there, no problem. Nick knacks. Shit, I gotta get one of those construction jobs. I could use myself a nice new weapon. Chain, huh? Looks like I found my man. I think I'm in love. You there. I heard you got yourself a chain. I see it. What is it to you? Not letting me borrow it? <laughs> ah, we got ourselves a joker here, boy. I hate that. Why can't I fucking hear on the right side? I paid these headphones. I fucking 
kept them in pristine condition and they just fucking gave out on me like that? Or maybe I went deaf on my right ear, I don't know. I don't think it's the case. Oh my fucking god, it's so awful. We got ourselves a Joker. I'm the Joker, baby. Weapons are the only thing that keep you alive in this hellhole. No chance I'm lending mine out of the first little shit that comes strolling up to me. Sorry, but I need that chain real bad. Please, if you ain't gonna lend it to me, I'm just gonna have to take it by force. I was supposed to play nice. Oh, the music is awful just from one side. But I get done before the guards come. Now fucking let go of me, piece of shit. Fucking grab him, piece of garbage. Fuck you, I'll grab him too. Now oh, fucking goddammit. My moveset isn't upgraded enough to be badass as fuck. Fucking ass, man. What is with him grabbing all the fucking time? Fuck you. That's what he's grabbing me. Get up. I'm fucking awful. Will I have to go back to my old headphones? Here, just take it. Oh, you borrowed the chain. Sorry, I got nothing personal. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I don't really care what you do with it, but you better give it back to me when you're done. I'll see what I can do. I was supposed to play nice, the, the old guy told me, and then I beat the shit out of him. I mean, I, f I hate that so fucking much. I ain't got the money to be spending it on fucking expensive headphones again. Fucking shit. Shit gotta be breaking on me now. It's fucking awful. Once they lock you up in here, there's no getting out. I don't know, I heard stories of guys getting real tight with some of the guards and getting out of good behavior. Sounds like a lot of shit to me. Guards probably spread the idea so people come kiss their asses. Me? I don't buy it. But if you kiss ass and not get anything from it, don't to rot in here without even trying, or worse, get shivved in your sleep. At least I get a separate cell, but I don't have to share it with a fucking inmate. Emphasis on mate. Who'd wanna mate me? I noticed people who started using breeding instead of fucking, and it sounds disgusting. What are your fucking experiment? A fucking science project or some shit? Breeding? Yeah, that's what it is. Just call it something fucking much normal sounding. Breeding. What's fucking next? Copulating. What do you think our menu tonight? I've been craving fucking whatever. Hunter inmate. Famous. I wish I could attack just like not in a fight so I could like just practice movesets. That'd be kind of cool. I fucking, I don't know, plugged something in incorrectly. Not fucking doing anything. I remember when I was like, I spent a whole week recording Sonic Frontiers videos. And I realized that I recorded like a f like 15 episodes. And I recorded them without my microphone on. Reminds me of that one time Snoop Dogg was streaming for like 3 days and he didn't get his microphone on. Alright, I got myself a chain. You gotta smoke? Hey, you gotta smoke? And here, you out of your damn mind? Smoking in prison, that's rude. I got a drink, it's called Engine Energy Drink, and like, once again, it's fucking mojito flavored. See what I'm fucking saying? Everything's mojito flavored, except monsters. I don't know why the fuck I bought it. I, I did drink Engine before I remember it. That's the drink that made me realize that Engine from Crash Bandicoot is a fucking pun, because he has a rocket engine stuck in his head. Because the name of the drink is N... G I N E, right? And then I realized that huh, that's like a play on the word engine. 
you know, something that powers cars because this is an energy drink. And then I realized, what else is a pun on the word engine? Oh yeah, engine from Crash Bandicoot. See, you in this neck of the woods, blah blah blah. Who cares? Do you like? Oh, I wasn't reading. But hey, it's not all bad bars. The real trick is approaching the small, appreciating the small stuff whenever you can. I see they got smoking over there. How do you think you got that sick? As long as the guards don't have it on out for you, this place can be kind of cozy. Point is, keep your nose clean if you want to survive. You might even get some special treatments along the way and not beaten half to death like I did last episode. Might letting me one of us want to smoke, bro? It's like some other, someone who wants to smoke real bad. I don't really know if I'll get anything from it. Cool haircut, by the way. Kind of have a haircut like that myself, except that sides don't have any shitty pattern on them I like my longer hair but you know to get longer hair gotta fucking cut it short sometimes because I, I don't wanna end up looking like Seijima fucking mop on my head I, love, I do think he looks pretty badass though so what's your in, your in for? who me? you see anyone else around? of course you must have done something big to end up in here what was it? arson? assault? Grand Theft Auto Vice City? I don't gotta tell you. We had a Grand Theft Auto reference in Yakuza. Hell yeah. Now back off. For say, make you back off. Oh, four. V4. I never, I never seen that written in text where somebody shortens B4 to four. Oh, that's interesting. I see a lot of because being shortened to just cause, right? But yeah, I've never seen before being shortened to just four, huh? Pretty sure I just paced myself a little. That's good. Good for you. Anyway. Come on, slip me a couple million and I'll make it worth your while. Give me a break, man. You've been hitting me up for cash every month since I got tossed in this dump. Again, I ain't made of money. What's the big deal? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah, but you scratching my back's gonna end up bleeding me dry. Fine, I'll get one of my pals on the outside to wire it over tomorrow. Heh, <laughs> pleasure doing business. No worry, I'll make sure you take care of real good. I don't have any friends on the outside, though. Fuck. Ex Tojo Yakuza. Watch out, Saijima san. Saijima, let's just fucking stick with that. Hamazaki's taking you for the ride for the s of the century. What do you mean? I used to be in the Tojo, just like you. Let me tell you, nothing's good gonna come from trusting that dirty two-timer. Did you know he and the snake flower triad tried taking over the Tojo? Needless to say, more than a few guys in here would love nothing more than to stick a knife in his belly. I f think that was the fucking story in Yakuza 3. The snake flower triad, you know, the Chinese gangsters, um, led by a guy named... Lao, long, 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 fucking, something long. Shao Ka Long, something like that. Fucking, I can't remember. And he was a cool character because he was in Yakuza 1. And then I think he wasn't in Yakuza 2, but then he came back in Yakuza 3, only to get shot in the head by my, f like, curious father's twin brother that he apparently had who works for the CIA. Yeah, this fucking Yakuza of free story got went places. Like the CIA was involved. The final bad guy, after all, was some guy named Andrew Johnson or something like that. He was like the only Yakuza character who wasn't Japanese and he only spoke English, which was really fucking strange. And and yeah, I guess Hamazaki was involved with them because the thing about Hamazaki was that he was like a very profitable powerful family but technically only like a couple of people were a part of his family because all the other thugs he used were like f like weren't part of his family technically but practically they worked for him anyway I don't know it was fucking strange you got beef with Kamazaki take it up with him don't go nothing don't got nothing to do with me I'm not sure that's true let me guess he said he's gonna help you break out sorry pal He's gonna sell you out first chance he gets. You'll see. 
Damn, I ain't got a better fucking try, man. I'm on death row. Like, I'm just trying to warn you. Back out now before shit gets... Really hits the fan. That's a strange fucking expression. Must have definitely been invented after the invention of... of desk fans. I don't know. What other fan could shit hit? Like a windmill? What the fuck kind of expression shit, shit hit the fan? I got the chain. Already? Wow, you're good. This should work quite nicely. It's uh pretty heavy though. You sure that's okay? Not gonna be a problem. If you say so. Now for the hook part of this whole arrangement. You wouldn't happen to have a pitchfork, would you? Um, no. Uh, hi. Hmm. Oh, I've got it. Once one of the guys that put on farm duty might have something you can use. I mean, you can't farm without equipment. Think I can get by with a pitchfork or maybe even a hoe? Huh. Hoes. I don't think I'll be scourging, around, scourging up a farm tool for this. I mean, why did my fucking headphones broke? Like, I didn't fucking even do anything to them. I didn't fucking toss them around, didn't do fucking nothing. What did I pull a wire? D too hard or some shit? I mean, fuck this bullshit. Can I have a pitchfork, please? Can I have like some... Oh, you're a fucking new person, you probably have it. First day in here, do you end up in the biggest fight I've... Oh wait, I did talk to this guy. Right, now who's the character I have never talked to? I don't think I talked to these guys. Need something, tough guy? If you're looking for trouble, take a look somewhere else. Nah, I don't need nothing. Step your beefy ass back, we don't want anything to do with you. Oh, no, I do want something, I want a fucking... Oh. Guys got any hoes? Like a freaking Mack truck, Carlos. And how you, how the fella got that ripped? Oh, d what the fuck was that sentence? I don't even fucking know if I read any single word from that correctly. I'm telling you, man, it's all the work they got me doing out in the field. Shit, I gotta get myself on farm duty. Fat chance, you know how much I had to shell out for that privilege? Not gonna happen unless you're ready to lay down some serious cash. Looks like I found my farmer. We're putting up a, together a team. Now we need a paladin, uh, a mage, sorcerer, conjurer. We're, we're a magic based team. Uh, how do you work the farm here? Yeah, they let me run the roots over a little patch, seeing as I always have such good behavior. What's it to you? Got a question for you. Well, is that what Sageman is supposed to talk like? He's kind of talking with like a. Like he's sort of saying you, he says ya. Yeah. You use a pitchfork or a hoe over there. Sure do, big ol' hoe. Use it to turn the soil. Mind if I borrow it from you? Won't be long. I, you know what I think they're trying to do? I, I think previous Akazas uh, did that too. Apparently people from the Kai... What's it called? Kansai? Kansai region of Japan? Have a slightly different accent. And the way they try to represent it in the game, since it has an English translation, is they make it like people from that part are speaking more like a Southern accent, like a Southern American accent, while everyone else just has like a normal American accent. I don't know what the fuck you could describe a normal American accent like. Like, what the fuck kind of accent do I have? Sometimes I sound British, sometimes I sound like a fucking cowboy, sometimes I sound like a fucking gangster from the 90s, sometimes I sound like nothing at all. I don't fucking know. Sometimes it sounds like I'm fucking Russian or some shit. Now, man, the guards lose their shit if one of my tools gets missing. Goes missing. Besides, it's not like I keep them on me all day. Up my ass or anything like that. Please. I need it real bad. Hmm. And you promise it won't be long? Of course. Fine, then. See, like, he's kind of skipping words. He shortens them. Fucking hell. Why is it not working? Bring me a smoke and I'll think about it. What's the guy supposed to score a cigarette in here? Not the commissionary, that's for damn sure. Most guys you know I'm smuggled. Blah blah blah. There was a guy smoking. Let's go get him. Excuse me, fine sir. How did you get your hands on this fine cigarette? It's not finished yet. Can I have it? You there, can I bomb a smoke of ya? Who's asking? Wait, aren't you the new guy? That's me. The new guy. 
you know, waste any time making friends back in the cafeteria. I was there and you lost my appetite seeing a Smackdown you gave those guys. Shit was vile, man. You're fucking disgusting. I don't appreciate violence in my prison. Right. Damn if it wasn't entertaining, though. Shame it landed you in the hall, but hey, all good things come at a cost. I'll write a book about it. I'll write a book about how I spent 20 years in prison for nothing. I mean, for nothing. I killed 18 people, but like it was ultimately for nothing. Here, you deserve this after the show you put on. Hey, that's nice. I didn't even have to do anything for him. Probably realized by now, but cigarettes are practically like golden here. You wanna loosen some lip? All you gotta do is pop a smoke between them. Anyway, I'd be seeing you. I don't smoke. I never smoked, and I don't intend to ever smoke. I hate it. Here's your cigarette, pendejo. You have finished, but you didn't specify it. Was it supposed to be started already or not? Still lit up. Yeah, and how am I supposed to light it? No deal until you bring me a lighter. Fucking lighters. Son of a bitch, I'll fucking make you lighter by fucking ripping your arm off. Alright, who the fuck you could have a lighter? Lighter, anybody? I should like walk, run around just like screaming to heavens. Anybody's got a lighter? Uh, fucking hell, you stupid asshole. What's that on the ground shiny over there? The fuck can I do with the mugworth I found? I just happened to find a lighter on the ground. I knew that there was an item in this area, like this area wasn't completely pointless, but it's like... Wait, did the guards change? I thought the guy on the back was shorter, what the fuck? Yeah, but, uh, had a lighter. That was kind of strange and seemed a little bit lazy, like what, the lighter was just laying on the ground? That's it? Here you go, get your cigarette and lighter right here. <laughs> About time. You know, we're reaching the o the end of this episode and I just realized that all we did was run around in this small area handing people items. Let's have this hoe. So long down there, big guy. I never said I was gonna give it to you just that I think about it. And think harder, I do or do I gotta rattle your brains a bit? Are you seriously threatening me? Me? Man, you're just as dumb as you look. Keep running your mouth if you want. Looks like there's only one way you're settling this. You're like Seiji dialogue will somehow be more difficult to read than Akiyama's. Oh my fucking god, why are they broken? For, like one hit and ten combo is awesome because it fucking lifts enemies into the sky, which is fucking amazing. Oh fucking catchy roll! Damn it! Fuck off! Vegemite will get fucking insane after I upgrade him a little bit. He'll be my favorite to play as. I give, I give. Just take the damn hole and go. I had it with my ass the whole time. Appreciate it, could have saved yourself a where world of trouble if you just gave it to me in the first place. You borrowed a hoe. Perfect, now Kamiyama can make the grappling hook. Got the grappling hook? I feel like my equipment is just fucking breaking down. First my TV gets this fucking annoying spot on it. Now my headphones are broken. Why are they fucking broken though? It's so awful, like why? What happened? I didn't do anything with them. Do I gotta go back to my old ones? The Sharkoon ones. They weren't bad or anything, it's just that... Well, I'd much rather use these ones, these ones have way better sound. Or at least had before they fucking broke. Got everything you asked for, now can you fix me up the grapple hook? Hand it over the chain. Hand it over the hoe. Wow, I'm amazed they actually scared. Scourged up all the materials in here. This should be perfect, yes. Pardon me for a moment while I step into my workshop. She got like funny sound effects of him like sawing and doing crazy stuff. Sorry to keep you waiting. Work grapple hook just as ordered. I got the chain and grapple hook. I don't know what you're planning and I prefer to keep it that way. But please don't tell anyone where you got this. Don't worry, I ain't no snitch. 
or a bitch. Great, seeing how you seem to do things. I bet whatever you're planning is big. I can't wait to find out what it is. Anyway, good luck. So I guess he somehow gets out of prison along with us. Uh, somehow. Oh, there's something on the ground. More Mugworth? I guess maybe Mugworth is used for healing now because I don't have access to energy drinks or anything like that. You know what? I think this episode comes to an end. I'll save. And before I start the next episode, I'll actually switch to my old headphones because well, I can't fucking stand not being able to hear my right ear. It's so fucking annoying. So, I guess until I fucking fix this issue, my microphone quality will fucking get a little bit worse. You know, the problem with my microphone quality, a lot of people tell me that my microphone sucks, but that's not my microphone, that's my voice that fucking sucks. But admittedly, the Sharkoon headphones were a little bit worse. Not much, but slightly worth. I don't like it. It's fucking annoying that I have to do that, but well, fucking, I don't know what I did to these headphones, but they're broken now. It fucking annoys me, infuriates me even. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.